kids, it's time for an episode of your favorite show, Milk Toast Modern, and today we're doing basic bitch cutting boards. I'm going to show you how to make the same cutting board your creepy uncle made that you had to feign excitement about so you wouldn't come across as rude. So the first thing that you're going to need for this is about ten dollars to $15,000 worth of woodworking equipment. And then for the woods we're using, we're going with maple, cherry, and walnut. Why? I don't really fucking know. Something closed grain, something hard, something blah blah, anecdotes, bullshit, nonsense. I'm sure someone will come slapping their soggy penis around in the comments saying with utter surety why I'm either right or wrong without realizing that I just didn't want to see their weird dick in my comments. And we've arrived at the most titillating part of any woodworking project, the glue up. Watching a glue up is about as interesting as listening to a libertarian try and convey their idea of free market capitalism. People have all sorts of advice when it comes to glue-ups. Alternate grain directions, use calls, add biscuits, fucking only do glue-ups on even years when the cows are lowing in the spring pastures. It's all anecdotal. A lot of it's bullshit. Your grandpappy wasn't right. He was just kind of racist, and we hand wave it by saying it was a different time, and that somehow is supposed to make it okay. Now, at the end of the glue-up, if you're like me and you just sort of perfunctorially wipe off the glue because, like, you know you should, but you don't really care, so your heart's not into it and your boards end up caked in whatever that black shit is that comes off the pipe clamps, you'll want to knock some of that shit off with a scraper of some kind. If you go right for the planer, you could gunk up your blades or the board won't be flat, or you could be like me and give zero shits and just go for the planer. And when you're cutting your boards to size, don't put on your dust mask because apparently your existential dread at the concept of death being a black hole of nothingness where your consciousness goes to die doesn't outweigh your wanton fucking laziness. Final little detail is this chamfer, not a chamfer, you monsters. Obligatory three seconds of sanding that no one wants to watch, and done. Finishes walrus oil, which isn't like I went out and killed a bunch of walruses and harvested their oil if they, like, produced oil, like they have blubber or some shit. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Uh, it's just fancy mineral oil that kind of looks like, well, you know, moving on. And there you have the basic bitch cutting board. Now you can go make a bunch of these, put them up on Etsy, realize you can't compete with drop shippers if you want to make a profit, ultimately give up, casting blame on everyone but yourself, end up back in some mindless company riding the spreadsheet fellatio train, and go home staring at your tools wondering what could have been and waiting for the sweet embrace of objective nothingness.